It surely has been a happy week so far to Extreme Trader family. Regardless if you have been a free follower or a paying member, you surely have made profits with our signals. Starting from our VIP signals, as we can see right here. Um, yesterday in our VIP signals, we made a total of 250 pips of profit, which was really fantastic. And that is, of course, the total net of pips that we have sent. Then today, Tuesday, we made so far even more than 155. We actually made 220 pips. Um, later, actually, it has been updated as 190 pips. And then um, Pound UST hit take profit number one with 30 pips, making total of today alone 220 pips, which is really fantastic. And today we have made actually this week so far almost uh, 500 pips of profit within just two days. I mean, beat it if you can. This is really fantastic. Now, of course, for the free, uh, for the free followers, um, the gold is actually making good profits so far. This is, of course, the new one that I have sent, the new gold signal. And so far, it's running in around 121 pips of profit. Total was 164. So it's so far fantastic week. And I really hope uh, this signal will make uh, big profits later. Now, let's begin our midweek analysis. And as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. So now, as we can see yesterday, and of course, due to the current tension in the Middle East, it's surely affecting the market. As we can see, the candles um, has actually opened with a big gap yesterday. And as a result, it's instantly hit the take profit level. So now what's next with the pound USD? Actually, we have to delete the old signal. And let me just insight here that actually uh, the Euro USD surely having here a broken level of a resistance trend line based on the weekly chart. And that means that most likely right now, it will continue the rise after redistricting the broken level of a resistance trend line. And with the current uh, strong bullish movement, we can expect from the pair to continue the rise toward the resistance right here, where the market has originally reversed from. Now, as we can see so far, the current candle seems bearish. Now, keep in mind that we are actually talking about daily chart. So, so this candle still has around six hours for the closures, which means... Um, we have to okay sorry about that <laughs> we have to um wait for this candle to close and i believe that the next candle will continue the fall toward a certain level where we can actually rebuy the euro usd again the question is where now by simple looking right here we can notice that we had exactly right here let me just make sure it's precise exactly exactly yes fantastic uh, the support at 1.089, that was, of course, a, a key uh, level of a support in the past, which already became a resistance multiple times, as we can see right here. So keep in mind that this right here is the actual real level of a resistance that has been broken out from with that bullish breakout candle. Meanwhile, we have here number one, two, three fake breakouts, and that doesn't count. It means that the UST most likely will continue to fall toward that level of a real support and respects it. And afterward, it will continue the rise. Which means EURUSD still has around 33 pips before we can rebuy it again. Now, of course, I would like to use one last confirmation on this signal. And that will be, of course, by using the Fibonacci retracement. As we can see right here, it's almost at Fibonacci 50. Now the market is ranging at Fibonacci 61.8. But again, I believe it will make the, uh, the actual bullish breakout because uh, we have here, of course, an actual bullish breakout from that level of a resistance trend line. And by that, I believe the euro still will continue the rise, breaking out from 61.8 Fibonacci retracement. And of course, the eventual target, uh, just to make sure that we, we can secure some pips uh, of profit, it will be the highest level of a real resistance at 1.100, targeting at least 114 pips of profit and a safe zone. Now, since we are actually talking about this level of a support, uh, therefore, our safe zone shouldn't be ranging much lower than the bottom of the next key level of a resistance, which lies exactly right there. Actually, I'm looking at the support. Uh, this level of a key support, which actually is the next level of a key support. And we cannot expect from the Euro USD to continue to fall below that level. Therefore, um, uh, our safe zone will be ranging for around uh, 47 pips against 118 pips of profit. Moving now to the pound USD. All right. So as we can see, the buy signal for the pound USD has, of course, failed 
and now we have to find the new level where we can actually re-buy the pound USD again and I mean it I mean this is of course the weekly chart for the pound USD and as we can see right here we have of course right there exactly at 1.266 a strong key level of a support which was in the past a resistance as well and right now here also it plays it plays actually a major role as a support zone so right now we can notice that the pound USD is actually ranging at that level and it actually has even reached it as we can see the reversal has almost exactly happened from there at 1.267 and that means that by looking at the pound USD right now we can notice a very clear actual bullish breakout from that level of a resistance trend line as well uh exactly right here and now the market has fallen all the way right here retesting the broken level of a resistance trend line and right now we are witnessing the creation of a new support trend line therefore we will look to long the pound usd right now after retesting that level and hopefully it will be respecting that level of a key support as well so that being said let's now move back to the daily chart and i would like to actually rebuy the pound usd exactly right there at 1.265 why because for simple reason that this is of course an uh, sorry a fake breakout from the three level of a support right here at 1.265 and i believe that the pound usd will continue the fall toward that level of a support and that will be actually the best level to start buying this pair now if you want another confirmation we can actually ask the help of the trend lines so what we can do right now is simply draw here a support trend line from the absolutely lowest low in the chart and as we can see right now check this out i mean I um, mean, just like that. Look at that. This is perfection. Right here, of course, we have the real level of a support trend line, real level of support trend line, a fake breakout in the middle, and then most likely the pound USD will continue the fall toward the same level of a real support trend line. And that will be actually the lowest level that the pound USD can reach to before it starts the bullish reversal. So it means we have to wait for this pair to fall to another um, 43 pips before we can start buying it. However, the take profit level this time is going to be played on a safe level, which means it's going to be at the nearest level of a key resistance, as we can see right here at 1.279, targeting at least uh, 97 pips profit from this signal and a safe zone that shouldn't be uh, uh, lower than the bottom of the real support right here at 1.261, ranging for around 46 pips only. Let's now move to the AUD USD, which actually going to remain the same. Now, of course, uh, this long tail happened, of course, as a reaction of the current tension in the Middle East. Um, but I believe it's almost over. I mean, it has been a week and Iran didn't do anything yet. I mean, come on. I mean, nothing happened yet and the market already reacting to it. It has been a week. Come on. Therefore, um, the, we can say that this signal, I mean, I cannot say it was a successful signal, but I mean, this happened early morning. I mean, almost no one took it. I mean, it was it happened right on, at the opening of the market. So therefore, I would assume that this signal, I cannot say it was a successful one, unfortunately, but I feel like it. <laughs> anyway, um, we will keep the AUD USC signal as rem uh, to, to remain the same. That level of real support is most likely gonna be guess, most likely gonna be respected, and the AUD USC, if it's gonna make any pullbacks, it will reverse exactly at the same level of real support. Therefore, AUD USC signal just remains the same. Let's now jump to, uh, jump to the USD CAD. So USD CAD with this strong big movement happened again. Uh, it was indeed a winner signal and so far it hit the take profit level making 110 pips of profit. So before we continue, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and kindly leave a comment and share the video and let us know your experience if you guys have taken this, these signals and uh, surely hopefully made some profits. So now, what's next with the USD CAD? Of course, we have to delete, of course, uh, the old signal. And now, in my opinion, the USD CAD will surely continue the fall. Now, it's really important to understand that we have right now the highest level of a resistance zone, as we can see right now. And instant, uh, I mean, uh, clearly, the USD CAD is actually unable to make the bullish break out from it, but not yet. I mean, by simple look right now, we can see clearly that we have here, of course, a broken level of a triangle. I mean, it's so clear, right? So therefore, the USD CAD has only one direction to go, which is going to be, of course, to the down and retest the broken level of a resistance trend line. But that's going to happen after it falls to another um, almost 80 pips. 
So that means we have to consider selling the USD CAD until it reach that level of um, a broken resistance trend line. Therefore, let me just first of all place my take profit level to be right here exactly. Yes, exactly right there. The highest level of a real resistance as we can see at 1.372. So therefore, I believe the USD CAD will continue the fall toward that level after it falls to another 80 pips. Now, how about the entry? Let's now move to the four hour time frame. Now, let me just tell you something. Now, what we have right here on the four hour time frame is a very clear head and shoulders has been respected, which means indeed the USD CAD will continue the fall toward that level of a take profit level as we have stated earlier. So therefore, we have to expect right now a pullback since the USD CAD is actually right here on a support zone. Therefore, it might actually make a pullback and reverse exactly at the same level of a real resistance right here at 1.384. Now, with the current head and shoulders patterns, I'm not expecting from the USD CAD to rise above that level. The maximum it can go against is going to be right here at that level of a resistance and afterward it will continue the fall. In my opinion, that's going to be the best entry. Uh, the safe zone shouldn't be ranging higher than the, um, the head at the highest level of a resistance at 1.389. Therefore, the safe zone is going to be ranging for around, actually we can make it even lower than that. 47 pips only against 114 pips of profit. Let me please write the signal for you. There goes your signal, my friends, for the USD CAD. Let's now move to the NZD USD. All right, so NZD USD, uh, despite, of course, this is a strong movement happened again due to the current tension in the Middle East, of course, uh, at the opening of the market yesterday. We can say that this signal actually was a winner. Maybe I cannot say that. Unfortunately, I cannot. But I mean, um, remember that this was just a reaction of the market at the current uh, situation. But the actual respecting or actually technical uh, from technical view, in my opinion, the market is indeed respecting that level of a real support. Anyway, to save your time, NZD USD is actually remains the same. We can still rebuy the same uh, pair, uh, the pair exactly at the same level of a real support. Therefore, this signal just simply remains the same. Let's now move to the UCCHF. Now, I told you, my friends, that's the reason uh, that the last week I did not send any signal for the UCCHF. I told you that the pair is actually facing a strong key level of a real support and we cannot buy or sell the pair until it make a clear movement right here. However, we cannot, st we still cannot actually do anything with the UCCHF. I still don't see a clear movement right now because the pair has reversed exactly from the, uh, almost right there, at the bottom of the support at 0 0.841. Uh, it reverts back to for around 88 pips. Now, it's not so clear to me the current movement on the UCCHF. The pair is just being so crazy right now. It makes a lot of naughty pips and we just simply cannot really trade it right now. So therefore, we will have to wait some more time before we can trade the UCCHF again. And of course, regarding the gold, I'm tracking it. And so far, I'm happy to say that the gold right now is running in about 167 pips of profit so far. Uh, at the time of making this video, it has been really a very successful and good signal and I hope it will continue doing this. So, of course, my friends, I'm actually expecting to update you with another gold uh, signal video this week because one or two videos is not enough at all. Uh, wait me again in a new deal of the day on the gold. So, until then, I hope uh, that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.